Okay. Uh, so, not made too, you know, I've done what we needed to do, but basically I've put these U-bolts on. Right. Because I wanted to make sure <coughs> that the frame was actually fastened down so it doesn't slide around or lift. And so it's now fully in place. And it's not going to move, you know. It's in pretty solid. <coughs> So we've got to uh, I'll show you it here and see. It's uh, pretty well held down. And what it is is basically there's a nut on the underside. I had to fashion these from a bit of um, oops, a bit of straight. It's just basically a straight length. Uh, you know, like sort of that. Because it's not a U. You see, it comes out straight, and then you have to bend it round. And then, because you cut it, you have to refashion the end so the nut goes on again. So, uh, yeah. So it's on. And so we've done all the mechanics now, <coughs> as far as this is concerned. So the next stage is to focus on the electrics, the actual electrics themselves. We've got to get the batteries in place. We've got the four batteries that are over there. Those ones. Uh, make a perhaps fashion a table for them to go on a bit of uh, a bit of ply or something got some ply got some other uh, thicker ply down there so we might just put a table there to put the batteries on and then I'll have to fashion something that can charge it in the vehicle and uh, we'll have the uh, that relay box for doing the reversing I think that's pretty good so we'll probably keep that even though it runs on 12 volts. Um, yeah, and then we get it to the point where we've basically got two wires coming out. <coughs> um, we need the split rail supply to do it. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure I'll do that, to be honest. Because uh, <coughs> we need the four traction batteries. But as well as that, we're going to need an extra battery to power all the control, probably and uh, the lighting and stuff of the vehicle you know <clears throat> we're gonna have to power all that if we're taking it out on the road it's gonna have to be road legal which means we have to have lights and indicators and all that sort of stuff and also we might as well have the throttle used because I've got the cable back here somewhere and so I can attach a switch to it or a potentiometer and as well as that I need to, con to construct the uh, so I need to do the electrics you know as in a full power uh, and then once we've done the electrics, the high power electrics, which has to handle like 100 amps and get that working. And then um, once we've done that, we can concentrate on the electronics so we can get the, uh, the accelerator tied in. Maybe get a bit of engine braking going on somewhere along the line as well. We can focus on that. That's PWM and obviously we need, uh, we need the split rail supply for that. So we need the 12 volts separate separate from the uh, from the traction batteries so basically we need another battery a, uh, an, uh, a third um, it'd be a fifth battery won't it to do the control electronics and uh, things like the lights and stuff because they'll have to run as well I don't know how they'll run I don't know how long they'll run but uh, I'm pretty sure that the uh, traction batteries will probably run out before the the uh, control electronics run out yeah so that's the focus now we do the electron we do the electrics first so we got the electrics in place and then we can focus on the electronics so we can get the throttle and things like that PWM circuit working yep and once we've got the electronics in place we've got a full electric vehicle and then maybe upgrade the batteries because we've got four car batteries might think about using that Prius battery over there because that would be interesting might even do that anyway so we need the 40 volts and that gives us a separate 12 volt battery I don't know or maybe a, a what's the name uh, <coughs> use it as a DC, a DC circuit or something I don't know I'd rather have it separate anyway we've got it all in now all the mechanics are taken care of we need to focus on the electrics now